Antonio Simplicio de Silva in the long jump competition. The T11 category, you can see there the guide who gives her the mark and tells her when to go. Her first attempt for Lita Vitoria Simplicio de Silva of Brazil. A lifetime best of 4.46 for this Brazilian. See if her first round attempt is anywhere near that. Oh, that's quite good. 4.31. So 4.31. Simplicio de Silva lifts her up into second position. Also runs on the track. We've seen her in action in the track events in this competition as well. You can see the guide there. The T11, of course, completely blind with the face mask as well to make sure that it is a fair competition. That's in going of Vietnam. Well, that's not too bad, is it, Evan? No, it's not. And you'll see that they're using the chalk there on the track to mark where the athletes need to jump from. They jump from anywhere on that chalk, and they'll be measured from where they jumped. Because obviously, in the normal long jump, they have the plasticine and make sure there's no fouls. Everyone has to jump from exactly the same spot, but it is much more difficult competing when you can't see where you're supposed to be jumping from. So what does Nguyen's opening jump yield? And that 398 be... takes her up into fourth position. So we're heading back to the women's long jump, T11. Total visual impairment. So it's all down to the guides. of Brazil <laughs> met the board so sweetly look to have got everything right 520 is uh, her lifetime best came this year and it's only 100th outside the world record held by purification Ortiz from 1997 her championship record goes back to 94 in Berlin which would have been the first one that was a great landing and the board was met perfectly. The measurement going from the tip of the toe all the way through to the first indentation in the sand. A lot of chalk dust. Four meters, 97. That is three centimeters away from the long standing championship record. She's in the lead. Brilliant effort, and that was into a slight headwind as well. Minus 0.8. Ronnie Oya of Finland is next, the European bronze medalist in 2012. 4.24 in the first round, which was very solid. Had her in the medals for a little bit. Good attempt too. 4.29 is a lifetime best, and again, that's it this year. Just about got the chalk dust, which counts as the entire landing board. Had she taken off before it, then the measurement would start where the chalk begins. And she'd have given a lot away. Now, does that move her up? Well, 4 meters 30 is a lifetime's best, but it is fourth place for the fit. So back to the women's T11 long jump, and it is Victoria Carlsen from that great jumping nation of Sweden. Good contender for a medal she is. 
reigning European champion and silver in the previous Europeans in the Netherlands. Met the board well, the chalk. Guide will instruct when to accelerate, when to prepare to take off and when to launch. Foul in the first round, but this a lot better. It takes a little bit longer to get the measurements up in this event because of the chalk. And it is manual measurement, but four meters, 34. And Carlson goes into the bronze medal position for sweep. Quite obviously from Brazil. Salvatini, Spoladare, and the reigning world champion, too. Still only 19 years old. That's spectacular. Four seventy-five. Oh, round one leader. And then fell back to second. Lifetime best. Oh, that's a foul. Guide got out of the way. She didn't launch in time. This one of the uh, events with the guide would also be a coach. Not in every situation. Ah, but there you go. Overstepped. And that was it. Red flag. She was just looking to take her launch. Just slightly too late. But she's still in the medals and it's still silver. For Salvatini Spoladare for the time being. Five time best in the first round. She's still second. Women's long jump T11, Victoria Carlson, fourth round, 434 so far. Little wavery at first on the runway, but then straighten up thanks to the support of a guide. We saw Lex Gillette go very wayward and land on the uh, measuring board during the men's final on the way to gold. But he's subsequently told us he's OK. No, no lasting injury there. And you can see how far that results board is, by the way, from the centre of the pit. And we're talking about athletes who are completely blind and they have the blindfold on as well, just to make sure with regards to this category. Next up, the spectacular world champion Salvatini Spoladore of Brazil for 49. It's her season's best going into it, then went out to 475 in the opening round for a lifetime best. Improved that mark by 17 centimeters. Brazil one and two at the moment. So this is a fourth round attempt. Well, she has gone very wayward off the track, but she recovered in time. Now she pulled out because obviously the confidence wasn't there that she was going to land in the sandpit. It was obviously a call from the guide to try and straighten up, and it's obviously a split second call as to whether you put yourself fully into the jump or you withdraw a bit, and she withdrew. She'd actually been okay if she'd gone all the way through. She got back on track, straightened up, but she uh, she pulled out. She pulled out. It really is a leap into the unknown. <laughs> so that's uh, in the end, it ended up being. Three and a half meters, 346 for the lifetime best coming in the first round, and she stays in the silver medal position. And you'll see the win with a zero reading. Here's the other Brazilian who leads Sylvania Costa de Oliveira. 
520 a lifetime best set this year, which was a centimeter outside the world record. And she's on track, certainly. A major jump, 497 in the second round. The championship record dates back to 1994 in Purificación Ortiz of Spain. It came in Berlin in the very first World Championships. Use the chalk pretty much to perfection. They'll start the measurement from the tip of her toe. Good. Just below five meters last time out, three centimeters below the championship record. Finished sixth in the long jump two years ago. Semi finals in the 100 meters in Neil. Five meters 04 is a new championship record. It's pretty much one of the oldest records in the championship book, but it's now gone. Brazil, one and two. This is Elisa Montanen of Finland. Bronze of the Europeans last year in Swansea and bronze in the 2011 Worlds in Christchurch. Montanen with four meters exactly in the up round. Looks like it will be in a brimmer. We're into round five now. Monten a very good uh, track star as well. Silver in the 400 last year. Fourth in the 200 meters. That's four meters, 11, and she is sixth into a headwind. They're enjoying it. As we are as well at these championships. Now going into the women's T13. It is hot. That is true. Dead eye of Italy. With the unique blindfold. She's landed well. She's of Albanian extraction. Dead eye. Excellent last year at the Europeans in Swansea. Silver in the long jump, silver in the 200, bronze in the 100. Lots of energy. That's why her friends call it Jurassa. Six in the last round, putting her up into seventh place. 3.94 instead. 4.19 is a lifetime best. So Brazil dominating the long jump. And a chance of a clean sweep. This is their third placed athlete, Simplicio de Silva. But that will be a foul. 4.31, she's landed twice. 4.34 is Carlson's bronze medal position for Sweden. Ah, one step too many, that was it. One step too many, and obviously, she'd hit the chalk with her non-leaping foot. Good match part of that. Carlson hanging on to bronze. Well, we've regularly seen Brazil clean sweeps in the women's sprints in T11. It's not happened here at all this year with the clean sweep from Greek. Now, this is the woman so far denying that. Well, side markings four and a half, but you have to add a little bit for the chalk as well, the distance from where her toe left the surface. It's obviously uh, reset, rechalked after every attempt. 
Those are the last two Europeans. Only 18 years old. Good prospects, probably for many, many years to come. 4.28 are latest, 4.34 are best. Only 12 centimetres between everything. This is Salvatini Spalladore. Lying in second place with that lifetime best of 4.75. 30 centimeters longer. So it would overtake her colleague to hit the front. Well, she landed well, but then was killed over. I think she got good distance in that. Considering her uh, lifetime best going into this was 4.58. So, so far this afternoon has been uh, very strong. Just went towards the side in the end, landed fine, and actually her hand went right through. It's collapsible, though, thankfully. They'll uh, have to reposition that. 4.58 it is. She stays in second place. Into a headwind again. So back to the men's long jump, T11. Simplicio de Silva. Her last chance to get into the medals and make it a Brazilian clean sweep. 4.31, she's achieved twice. Well, that is a perfect jump from Simplicio de Silva. Fantastic women's long jump T11 final, this one. There it is, her final jump, 396, but she stays outside the medals in fourth position. So Victoria Carlson up for her sixth and final jump. She's in the bronze medal position. Can she lift herself into silver, though? Some work to do to get there. She needs more than 30 centimetres to get up there into second position, does Victoria Carlson. Well, she hits the board nicely. She has some work to do if she wants to get into silver. She's got the bronze. That is a very, very nice run off and take off as well. Absolutely perfect. But she remains in third position. So that is a bronze medal for Sweden. Rounding off the women's long jump, Brazil one and two, but in what order? 30 centimetres needed by Salvatini Spoladore of Brazil, the 19-year-old, in order to wrest the gold away from her fellow Brazilian, Silvania Costa de Oliveira. And she's aborted it. It'll be a foul, and it will be silver for this talented youngster. She had a good chance of gold. Makes her a live contender for Rio, certainly. Victoria Carlson of Sweden. Has the bronze medal. Brazil with three of the top four positions. Silvana Costa de Oliveira, as a result of this moment, is the world champion. was a wayward last jump, you might remember, which wouldn't have helped. 
I thought it was still a 458. So, two flags that are red and a medal that is silver. Silvana Costa de Oliveira. Championship record broke. The 21 year old mark, and that's as old as the championship record can be. That was the first world championships in 94. IPC Athletics not far behind the IAAF. Their first world championships was 1983. 5.04, 5.02. Well, her best finish in the world championship long jump before was sixth. Now she is the world champion. Finally, she can celebrate. She's reached the end of the competition. And she's finished in first place. Again, very good, consistent jumping. In the most part, brilliant delight in this T11 competition. And Brazil so close to sweeping the boards. Only uh, 13 centimeters away from that in the end. Carlson did improve with her last jump. Silvania Costa de Oliveira, the world champion. Record makes her the world champion. Five meters 04. It's a superb success. Great competition for Brazil. T11 John long jump has to be as difficult a competition as you get here. So Brazil 1, 2 and 4. Silvania Costa de Oliveira with the gold. Championship record. Lorena Salvatini Spolidore. The silver for Brazil and Victoria Carlos and the bronze for Sweden. Simplicio de Silva for, for Brazil. Finland 5th and 6th through Oya and Montenegro.